Antibiotics has been available for most part of the world for 70 years and it uh, has been instrumental in saving millions and millions of life and still are doing so. Uh, we can also say, if you see in this first slide, that antibiotics are the pillars, the cornerstones of all of medicine. All health, health systems are relying on uh, the effect of antibiotics. First of all, the basic infections that are occurring in society, like blood infections, wound infections, urinary tract infections, but also maternal and child health. And lastly, all of modern medicine is building. Transplants, organ transplants and cancer treatment is building on the availability of effective antibiotics. Over the years, the pharmaceutical industry has delivered more and more antibiotics. But as you can see in this slide, we have what we can call a failed model. We have new antibiotics, they are marketed, they are overconsumed and misused, and this leads to antibiotic resistance. This is really dangerous. And again, going back to the pyramid of health built on antibiotics, this is like a tsunami. Antibiotic resistance is spoiling potentially all what we have gained in the world with the use of antibiotics. So what can we do about that? Well, first of all, we have to realize that this is not only a health problem. The consequences of antibiotic resistance uh, moves far beyond health. If we're not healthy, we cannot work. That will be a problem with labor and also at the end uh, the economy of the, uh, the society, the individuals and in fact gross national products. I would say but that we in fact might reach a very serious tipping point here. Uh, if we look at antibiotic resistance and the resource uh, that antibiotics gives us, uh, we can make the analogy to climate change. We have failed to preserve this resource and we also failed to renew it. So, if we're unlucky, uh, the world might fall back in something we could call the post-antibiotic era. To counteract that, all of society, individuals, society, governments, the private sector need to collaborate to prevent this from happening. We need to come back to balance. We need to find a way to balance access and excess and availability of antibiotics and the rational use of these very, very valuable medicines. I hope that you will learn from this course the complexity of this issue and we'll, I will get back to you at the end of the course to sum up what actors need to be responsible and what could be done to, to, to save the world from this crisis. Thank you.